This is Twit. Eric in St. Louis, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, Leo. Hey, Eric. How you doing? I got a question for you. Um, my sister, she's a special needs, and she uh, she bought one of those Fitbit watches, you yeah, know, like wristbands. Yeah, yeah. And, well, she doesn't have internet access where she lives. And now it's kind of, it, it cut off on her, so she can't sync with it. And I was just wondering if you knew how that Fitbit worked, because I did a lot of research on it. And I can't figure it out if she's got to have internet access all the time. No, she does not. Is it a Fitbit Flex? Which one is it? I'm not sure. I think she bought it at Best Buy for, I don't know, over $100 or something like that. Yeah, the most recent is Fitbit Flex. And it will sync via Bluetooth with a phone and via Wi-Fi with a computer. She probably doesn't have Wi-Fi if she doesn't have internet. Well, she's got an Android smartphone, which she can connect to the internet, but they... They limit her because, you know, she's special needs. Yeah. So, you know, they, they kind of, you know, they limit her on, right. you know, internet. Is there Wi-Fi in the house? Uh, no. No. So the only way she can connect to Wi-Fi is, you know, through the phone over yeah. the... Yeah, so uh, that's not Wi-Fi, and that's not going to work. The wireless thinking, syncing um, will use Bluetooth to her phone. Right. So what she wants to do is pair the Fitbit to her phone... Use the okay. Fitbit app on her phone, and then the phone, because it does have internet access, will communicate with the servers. Uh, that's so she can use the app and keep track and so forth. Uh, but the Wi-Fi features will not work unless she's in a Wi-Fi area. So, well, I think you're misunderstanding my question. That's the only way she can get to the internet is through her cell phone. Right. She doesn't have Wi-Fi. The so Fitbit doesn't go on the I internet. Was wondering, is, is this like, did she waste her money on this, no. you know, wrist? No, the Fitbit doesn't need the internet. It communicates with the phone via Bluetooth, which your phone has. So make sure she pairs it to her phone, then uses that's the right. Fitbit app, and the Fitbit app will upload to the Fitbit servers if that's what she wants. But the Fitbit will work just fine communicating with her phone alone. Okay, so she doesn't. She's got an account with Fitbit, but she doesn't. The phone is what have to. The phone is what communicates with that account, right? So the Fitbit syncs to the phone. The phone syncs to the internet. Right, but she doesn't, the phone, I mean, they cut the phone off. They turned her data usage oh, off. Oh, well, then she's out of luck. That's, well, that's, the Fitbit will the, the Fitbit will still work. I understand now. The Fitbit will still work, and it'll communicate with the phone. She just won't be able to communicate to the Fitbit servers. I don't think you have to to use the Fitbit. I don't believe you have to. I will check on that one. The Fitbit should still work, even if she's not syncing with their servers is what I'm saying. Uh, again, 888-827-5536. We've been doing some Fitbit research because our last caller, I feel bad. Uh, last caller's sister got a Fitbit. She has a smartphone with a Fitbit app, but uh, Internet access is disabled on the smartphone and because uh, she's special needs. And so uh, uh, she, apparently the Fitbit won't work without Internet access. And I, I did go to the Fitbit site. And it says it syncs using Bluetooth, but it also uh, needs Internet access. One of our chatters did an experiment, and I'm not sure if, uh, if he did this correctly or not, but he says the Fitbit would not sync if he didn't have Internet connection. Now, but he says he put it in airplane mode. Of course, if you turn off Bluetooth, it won't sync either. Um, so what you need is Bluetooth only and no Internet access. The question on my mind is, look, a Fitbit is basically a pedometer. It's a smart pedometer. It keeps track of your steps. Uh, some of the Fitbits will also keep track of altitude, you know, climbs upstairs, which is good. And uh, some of them you can wear them while you sleep. It'll m track your motion while you're sleeping and try to give you an idea of how well you slept. It's a simple device. And obviously, if you're going to keep track of all that stuff, it needs to communicate either to a website or to your phone. Your phone has a has a Fitbit app on it, and we'll show you, uh, you know, it'll download the data from the bracelet and show you all the steps and tossing and turning, etc. It doesn't and shouldn't need Internet access, period. And in fact, this raises kind of an ugly specter because uh, it's pretty clear that uh, if it does require Internet access, that's greed on the part of Fitbit. They want your information. They want your health information. They want you to create a Fitbit account. Maybe they're going to show you ads when you go to the website. Maybe they're going to sell that information to any somebody else. I don't know, but that's the point. Is they sh they've made a requirement that's for their benefit, not yours. And this 
is something, if you listen to the show over a period of time, happens a lot in technology. Apple's another example. We were talking about messages, and it requires you have an Apple device. Well, that's not a technical requirement. That's an Apple requirement. That's not for your benefit. That's for Apple's benefit. And uh, we got we were in a muddy uh, area at this point. Used to be, in the good old days, when a product, when a company made a product, the benefit they got from the product was selling it to you. <laughs> That was the benefit. They got the benefit. They sold it to you. They got cash money for it. And, and, and they tried to design a product that would benefit you so you'd want it. But in the digital era, it's gotten muddy. It's gotten more complicated. There's, of course, a lot of free products. And if you have a free product, well, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Nobody's giving you something for free free. You're not giving them money. You're giving them something else. You're giving them data. And the data is a value. Maybe not a lot of value. Facebook, it's estimated that each Facebook user is worth four or five bucks a year. Not a lot to Facebook, but you multiply that times a billion and a half users. Well, it gets to be some, some, <laughs> some real dough. Uh, so there's that. But that's a free product. What about a product I buy? Shouldn't that be like the old days where I bought it and that was the benefit to the company and now it's mine and I can do whatever I want with it and one of the things I don't want is for the company to continue to check up on me that doesn't seem unreasonable and yet that's the age we live in that's the whether it's Monsanto which makes a corn that you can't use for seed it's genetically modified so you have to buy it every year <clears throat> or it's Apple which sells a product that requires <laughs> You to use other Apple product to use it, or it's Fitbit apparently, and I don't know, but we don't have to do some more research. That has a product that requires you send data back to Fitbit. I bought this Fitbit band; it should just do what it does. Why does a pedometer need to talk to the home office? It shouldn't. It doesn't. That's an artificial constraint. Fitbit has laid on top of it, and you know you gotta say, I'm sure it's in the fine print somewhere. But it's not exactly on the front of the box. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you're giving us some money, but that doesn't pay for the product in whole. You, you also have to give us some data or we're not going to let you use it. <clears throat> you know, that'll be in the, in the price. You know, that'll be on the bill of sale. Costs $100 plus a lifetime of data supplied to Fitbit.com. That should be in the, that's the bill of sale. But it isn't, is it? And unfortunately, I feel bad, but it sounds like your sister is going to have to return her Fitbit and just get a plain old pedometer until they start making pedometers that send information back to the home office. The other option, of course, would be she could go, I mean, if she doesn't, if you and she don't mind that her information about how she exercises is sent back to the home office, you could just go to a Wi-Fi access point every few days and that should work too. Um, just, you know, go to a McDonald's. Seems kind of, it's the opposite of health, but <laughs> work out, run to McDonald's and sit down and then upload and then run home again and try to avoid those delicious French fries every time they get me, every time.